Welcome everybody and hello to you. In today's session we're going to be discussing the energy of all the physical things that we have, that we wear, that our houses, where we live, our cars, and our workplaces, and how to declutter them energetically. Our energy and the energy of other people is collected in items. That's why if you have a ring and you take it to a clairvoyant or a reader, psychic reader, they will hold the ring and be able to tell you about the person. It's because the energy is in there. Everything absorbs energy, it absorbs our energy, it absorbs the energy of the world, and it absorbs other people's energy. While this is a good thing in some ways, it also has a negative part. If we are going through a time and we're very negative, and a lot of negative things are happening for us, then that will be absorbed in our clothes, in all the different parts of us. Once we start doing work on ourselves, we'll notice a difference in our energy body. It is just that the energy of our aura now changes. So when we try to wear the same outfits or colours even, perhaps jewellery, it won't resonate with, with how you're feeling energetically. I actually got rid of a lot of my clothes. I just gave them away, sent them to the op shop, gave them to friends and bought new clothes because they had new energy in them. And then when I imbued my energy into the clothes, it was actually my clothes now. Of course, there's some things that are our favourites and we love them. You can do things like put them outside in the air, in the wind, that kind of dissipates some of the energy and you can still wear them. But I actually suggest that you get rid of some of your wardrobe. Good excuse to have some changes. You might also change your hair and your hair colour. You might start buying new makeup, a different perfume. When these things start happening, you know that energetically you've moved and changed and got rid of a lot of things. I notice when people stop wearing black or navy, then I noticed the big change that they were actually changing. They started to wear colour and actually they'll often wear white, a lot more white and cream because the energy is, of course, running white light. Around the house, just get rid of things. As I said before in another podcast, get a cardboard box and start putting all the things around your house that energetically don't work for you anymore. They might have been gifts or presents from people and perhaps some you need to have out but a lot of them can just go away for a while. I have three boxes. I have the throwaway box, the giveaway box, the keep box, and that box is keep and I know or keep and I don't know. I always have that last box, I want to keep it. And if I'm not sure, I put it in the keep box. This way you can always go back and grab things. <laughs> there have been times when I've done all this and then gone and gets, got something out, out of my my bin, not the dirty bin, the actual recycle bin, and pulled it out and washed it and kept it. Some things we, we really are attached to. When we change the energy of our house this way and our clothes, then the whole energy of our aura is actually resonating at the right rate together because we've actually changed our vibration. If we've got rid of a lot of things, a lot of anger, a lot of negative energy, We've done lots of work and ascended, filled ourselves with all these different colours of healing lights. Then our aura now is running at a different rate. The reason that people stay in that same spot is they don't understand that the clothes and what they own has energy in it. They just think they're dead, inanimate uh, items, and in a sense they are, but they've still absorbed the energy. That is why if you go and buy second-hand things, sometimes I've gone to buy something that was antique or second-hand and it felt good. Other times I had it and it didn't feel right. And it's because wherever it had been sitting, it had absorbed that energy and I, I didn't care for it as much. I didn't like it as much. If you ever go into an antique shop or a an op shop, you can actually feel the energy. I can usually, I know it sounds weird, but... I can smell the energy, like I can feel it, if it's good energy or not good energy. And that's not just a literal smell. It's just the place feels like the energy's right or not. Buying clothes in those places, you need to understand that it has the other person's energy. Washing helps, and you can use bicarb too in the wash, or lavenders or any essential oils to help remove them. However, some things do stain quite deeply in 
the fabrics and or in the actual items. Jewellery is the same. If you buy secondhand jewellery, sometimes you can wear it and other times you can't. I know someone was given a secondhand bracelet for her daughter and when she had it in her hand, she was like, I can't put this on her. These things can be washed and put in salt water as long as it doesn't affect the metal or the stones. So they can be cleaned. You can also put them in the moonlight and the moonlight will often cleanse it and also to put it in the Tibetan bowl. The bowl will actually change the energy. I put it in the bowl and I actually run a little session of the singing bowl in it to clean it. Once you change your house, it'll actually feel different too. It will feel cleaner energetically. That is another point to clean and to wash everything. If you wipe and wash everything off, you're actually cleaning off all the stagnant energy that's in the house. That's why when the house is clean and we've tidied it up, it feels good. And when the house isn't clean, it feels yucky and you don't really feel comfortable in it and you feel like you should get it cleaned up. We can also clean the air in the house. And by that, I mean by burning some of our oils or using the mister to have the oils in the house. You can also put the oils in some little spray container and go around and spray. I use sage. I've got some beautiful sage and I burn the sage and put it through the house. So I'm trying to clean it in the air and the physicality of it as well. When there's been a lot of trauma or upset in the house, it can stay that energy in the house. When we bought our last house, I remember standing at the kitchen sink, we just moved in, and I felt really emotional and I felt like crying and I was just doing the dishes. Then I remembered that the lady had miscarried and she'd had boys and the miscarry was a little girl. I don't think she'd ever really got over it. She'd left the house, I bought the house, but that energy was there. I also felt the energy in their bedroom. I could actually feel it. So I actually cleansed the house of their energy and sent that energy to the light. Energy isn't something that we see, but it's something that exists and it's very powerful in our lives. So now I give you permission to go and buy some new clothes, new makeup, hairstyles, jewellery. Get rid of some of the things that don't resonate with you. Replace them with things that you love. Put lots of good things in your house as well, like the essences and burning the, or the candles. Another good practice is to fill your house with flowers. Flowers have their own vibration and energy and they will actually affect how the house feels because they're energetic, they're alive as well. So putting plants and, and flowers in your house will change it. There is also a practice some people do where they put bowls of salt water around the house to absorb any negative energy. I was really curious with this, so I made my little bowls and put the salt in it. And then I checked it with pendulum and it was going around a certain way and left it for a while, a, few, a day or so. Then I went back and checked it. It was very interesting because the pendulum went backwards, which for me means it's absorbed negative energy. That's why we have a bath and put salt in it or Epsom salts because it actually releases the negative energy from our aura and from our body. You will have fun with this one. New energy body, you've worked hard on yourself, you've shed a lot of old energy, negative energy, and filled yourself with positive light, so now do it in your surroundings. I've now given you permission to go shopping. <laughs> so have fun with this clearing out, and I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light.